Here's a scene that often repeats itself. The University of Georgia men's golf team in contention and head coach Chris Hack surrounded by coaches, parents, and players who are impressed with his Hall of Fame induction. Well, I mean, does he deserve it? <laughs> yes, he does. He's the best coach ever, right? He's definitely one of the, one of the best for sure. Since Hack became head coach in 1996, the Dogs won the NCAA national title in 1999 and 2005. They were runners-up in 07 and 11. Hack also took National Coach of the Year honors in 99 and 05, and UGA has won seven SEC titles. With that kind of success, it's no surprise that UGA has had 54 All-Americans, a virtual who's who of the PGA Tour. I, I, I figured it out a couple days ago. I think the last two years, our guys have won $47 million on tour the last couple of years. Of course, you get a percentage of that, right? I should have written that into their scholarship contracts. I really screwed that up. <laughs> but how? How does a coach who admittedly doesn't really help his players that much with their swings create so many wins and winners? I recruited them for a reason. Get out of their way and let them play. If there's one thing that I think Coach Douglas and I have always tried to do over the years is if anything is, is help them a little bit with the course management issues, not necessarily too much strategy, but just to try to make them understand, don't have any fear. He kind of has a good formula. I feel like he's stuck to it, and I think that's why he's produced so many tournament wins. Yeah, Hacker was always there as a sounding board for, for anything that we needed, whether it was about golf or, or girls or school or, you know, just any issues that you're having in your life. You, you always knew that you could go in there in his office and talk to him about it. And When it comes to coaching, he, he is the epitome of what we all strive to be to have within our own programs. Like many kids, Chris developed a love for the game from his parents. He often played with his mom on Ladies' Day. He also developed a lifelong friendship with Lewis Brown. We were a good blend because I think he benefited from uh, from my uh, f focus. That, that he, he was more into having a good time, which is the way most kids were. After playing golf at the University of West Georgia, Hack landed a position with the American Junior Golf Association. I still to this day can't believe how big that has grown and, and uh, all the people that I met through all those travels and tournaments and, and so forth was invaluable. For 16 years, he worked with the AJGA, which also included his first coaching opportunity. It came during the Cannon Cup, a team tournament for juniors. Hack was a coach of the West team and a young kid named Tiger Woods. Do, doing that team event really excited me about being around the kids and having kind of a, a rah rah, let's, let's try to get this thing done. And that's what really interested me in coaching. Good friend and former Bulldog golfer Lewis Brown thought Hack might be the ideal person to replace the retiring Dick Copas at Georgia. Uh, he had um, a lot of great. Um, um, qualities to, to bring to the to the program, resources through the AJGA and so forth. During his time in Athens, Hack has developed close relationships with his players, not just about golf, but events in their lives. Like the time Russell Henley let Coach know he was popping the question. He was one of the first ones, and and um, I think I might have told my parents first. <laughs> that, would be, that would be good. <laughs> yeah, uh, but he, you know. We've been through a lot together, and, and uh, we talk about a lot of stuff, and I just figured he'd be excited to hear about it. Then there was the time double heart transplant recipient and former dog, Eric Compton, called Hack. And he called me on his way to the hospital and told me, he said, hey, I'm, I'm going to have to go in and have this done again. And, uh, and he just said, you know, just calling to tell you I love you in case I don't come out of this. You talk about crying. I couldn't take it. I mean, that was like one of my kids. Chris says he learned a lot of his caring characteristics from his dad, and he's used the example set by both his mom and dad to raise his son Charlie and daughter Katie, both students at UGA. They both have, have just been terrific assets of my life. Now here's an event not many colleges could ever accomplish. Approximately 80 former golfers back at their home course for an alumni tournament. 
They come back to renew friendships and have fun. As time goes by, they share the ups and downs of life, whether it's the challenges of professional golf or the sudden passing of former dog David Miller. This is an event that seems more like a family reunion, and at the center of it all is Coach Hack. You know, people want to be around him. He's, he, his infectious behavior makes you want to be around him. 